All cool. Marshall, come to you guys girls raw with the trifecta for the day. Number 19, LMKFL. Uh, this one's going to Knife Like, uh, Knife Life Mike, KLM. LMK says, what's up? Hope you're having a great day. See how we do that? <laughs> I abuse myself sometimes. But it's good on with the show, bro. The uh, Made in USA knife case, excuse me, Ace case. This this uh, case uh, comes from Pops Knife Supply. Uh, knife Life Mike gets a bottle of Aegis EDCI. We'll leave that one in there. We'll spray it down with my personal bottle after. I don't know what I did with my big bottle that I bought from uh, Jim at uh, Blade, but it'll show up eventually. Um, so I highly recommend taking a look at, at Aegis. The product is amazing. I think it is the best, absolute best hands down product you can get. And uh, now they're, they're branching out and showing you can use it on multiple things, not just your knife. And it is a protectant, it, just to protect your, your steel. Um, but you can use it on other stuff like your handles or your sheaths. Make it all look great and protect it. So, let's get on with the show. Uh, I'm going to drop my cup book. Uh, go backwards here. COP uh, and business card. Business card come from Paul over Serene Madness. Thank you for your efforts, Brother Paul. You are appreciated. Um, there we go. Blade style is a Persian compound. It's a compound ground Persian. Uh, steel is the New Jersey Steel Baron CPM S35VN. The model is the LMK EDC 6.5. Date 6-30-18. Number is uh, hashtag uh, or pound symbol. Number sign 19 LMKFL. If you put that into Google search, you do have an entity uh, that is number 19 LMKFL. And the maker is L Marshall. Nice to meet you. Just in case this is your first rodeo with me. Um, when I start cutting, you might want to turn the volume down because sometimes I get super happy. Uh, my favorite carry method is the static cord. Uh, I have shown it plenty of times, but I will show it one more time. That, I carry the static cord. Personally, I think it is the most versatile system possible. Uh, loop the system just over the knife just like that or deploy the knife take it from the sheath so put it back behind my belt you can do it from a belt loop you can run your belt through like so or put it all the way through your belt. Obviously, you wouldn't want to just leave it on that. You put it behind your bu your buckle. However you choose. I'm going to show you the lashing system that I use because now I can have the versatility run it right on top of my buckle if I choose, which I will. And I can go ahead and draw this knife. Right hand saber grip, right hand reverse grip, left hand reverse, left hand saber, deploy it fully from my body before I deploy it from the sheath. If you notice, I just drag the edge right across myself before I deploy it. It's all the way away from my body before I deploy the knife. So I could be laying belly down on the ground, deploy the knife all the way out before I even catch anything. Uh, I can be sitting down, standing on my tippy toes however I want, and that thing disappears. Right? 
my preferred carry method of choice. I can put it in the small of my back, or if I do not need it, I can take the knife out, take it off my belt altogether. Get you back down. So, whoa, whoa, you had me down there to see it other. Oh, no, you're down here to see it all. I can take it off my belt without removing my belt or unbuckling my belt. Ooh, spanto sexiness on this gorgeous Saturday. And I can go ahead and have it primary carry in my pocket. In my pocket, I'm going to drag it off the front of my pocket and, and deploy it as such. So I'm going to catch that lip right off the front of my pocket. Right? In normal pants, I mean, if you're wearing your skinny jeans, is that a knife in your pocket? Are you happy to see me? Yes. Yes, I am. It's both! I'm happy to see you, and I got a knife in my pocket. See? It's just yes. So we'll put the Spanto ground uh, mixed right custom back in my pocket, and we'll continue on. That's my static cord. Six minutes. Oh, Jesus. That's my system. That's why I like it. But you have your options. You have your large tech lock, vertical, and horizontal with one, two, three. So you can have the tech lock vertically or horizontally, or you can go one and four for your diagonals. Your FBI can'ts. Yeah. Look what I got here. I was looking all over for this earlier. You got your one, two, and three. There you go. See the daylight? Or you got your one and four. See that? Got my face there, so you see some tan behind it. Um, for your your uh, large tech locks. That's it. Um, get the show on the road. Now that we got this knife deployed, let's cut something. Nah, I gotta, I gotta wait, I gotta wait. I can't go too cuckoo. See if we get some focus. Uh, this, is, again, is my compound ground Persian EDC 6.5. This stuff is awesome. I don't know if I have a flashlight. Uh, but again, CPM S35EN from Pete and Aldo Bruno over at New Jersey Steel Baron. And Rafir USA makes this, uh, it's blue uranium uh, uh, SFX blue uranium. Whew, I almost, almost blew a blank. Got my uh, EDC torch here. And this stuff is cool because you can use either a flashlight or it does also uh, work with sunlight uh, and it glows. It changes the, the pigment of it. I love it. I think this is a very low powered uh, light, but you can take a look. This is the Olight uh, 1R EOS. I like this little light though. Yeah. Doing a video. I think that looks amazing. I love this stuff. This is the, again Rafir USA, and it's set up with uh, 125. Get my face off of that. 125 pins uh, and the 250 or quarter inch um, mosaic. The mosaic. Come on, baby, focus for me. There you go. The mosaic comes from Pops Knife Supply. Uh, this is my negative angle Persian. You see how it sits in an angle angle, and the tip comes center line. So that if, where's that? 
boom, everything, the tip is in center line. And you kind of have to remember that a little bit when you put it in a sheath. If you put it in normal, like it's a, a neutral angle knife, your, sheet, your tip's going up into the tip. So just remember you are a negative angle, you want to put your, your, your tip in like so. Okay? Uh, Missing anything? Oh, the uh, compound grind is a 14 inch uh, hollow grind. There we go. Uh, 14 inch hollow grind, mated with a the 14 inch wheel zero grind that flows into the secondary, got a mosquito coming after me, that flows into the secondary cut and bevel. So when you shrop, because I have the shrop out here from the last one, you put put your knife down on your zero angle and you only have to fall one angle all the way through. Or however you like doing your stropping. Stropping? Is that the right way to say that, Mama Sita? Say hi Mama Sita. Say what's up, knife like Mike? Knife like say knife life Mike. What's up, Mike? This thing is bananas. Super duper shop. But we'll show you again just because I love cutting stuff. And uh, I just dropped, so we got to. This thing, I didn't even, didn't even clean the. Let's uh, get a fresh paper and show Knife Life Mike some love. You can see right through, this is just straight up free hanging. Um, what, what magazine is this? Men's Health. This is a Men's Health magazine paper. Almost had it. Almost had it. <laughs> yeah, baby! Curly Q Excellence! Oh! I still haven't cut it off. I cut that curly off. <laughs> let's cut some, let's show Mike some love. I don't care how cool you are. You gotta show a tackle of hot every now and then to make sure everyone knows. Oh, let's not cut this off. Don't cut this off. Uh, I, I can't. I can't risk it. If the knife hits the ground, I mean, excuse me. If the tackle hot hits the ground, it doesn't count. Focus for me, please. <sighs> Nothing but love for you guys, and girls, and I appreciate all of you. But I appreciate Mike uh, for buying number nineteen. LMKFL. What the heck did I do? Oh, I put my cut book on top. Started panicking a little bit. I need to clean this bench off. Uh, let's spray it down with my personal bottle of Aegis. Aegis EDCI. Whew. I actually, I think I started sweating harder just because I thought I lost the sheath for a second in this mess. Wipe it down, wipe it down, and uh, man, if I can be honest, I miss her already. This for fear, uh, USA blue uranium has been one of those things that my kids have got an immense pleasure out of uh, hitting this stuff. And, and Hank Greenberg's uh, builds with the flashlights and, and watching them glow and oh how cool and, you know so uh, obviously this one was the first knife that I did and my kids have had the most time uh, making this 
blue uranium, uh, SFX blue uranium. I'll also get it right eventually. Um, they've had some, you know, cool science projects, if you will, especially when this was in the block form, or, or you know. Uh, but for now, let's get the story time over. Last time this knife comes out of the sheath by my hand uh, until Mike over at Knife Life, Mike gets to um, uh, take it out of sheath. Again, I almost did the same thing. Started putting it in and then realized that it's a negative angle. Uh, so let's get the tack the hot business card and um, COP in uh, get this wrapped up and put in Mike's fresh uh, EDCI from Aegis is in there and if there's anything anyone has a question about please do not hesitate drop a comment below along with the uh, if you if I don't answer uh, quick enough or if, uh, I miss the question altogether please shoot over Instagram and drop your question all you have to do is put 19 LMKFL in a search and you'll it'll come up uh, or you can head over to my in, uh, my Facebook Lloyd Marshall knives K and I V E S and um, I'll have links but you guys and girls thank you for coming along for another one of these box adventures. I'm going to see if there's a post office still open and get these out as soon as possible or I'll have them out in the mail on Monday if there's not. For everyone, have an amazing 4th of July. You guys, girls, deserve it. Be safe. Out. <clears throat> and blessed. Ah! Oh, man. You know, man, there's absolutely no doubt from the bottom of my heart. You guys, girls, are appreciated. <laughs>